Good morning, friends. Um, sorry I missed Lou Frederick. He's one of our state Oregon State Senators. He came by Linus Pauling House this morning for our open forum. But I missed that today. He was talking about education. Glenn and I met at the bus stop as I was heading out to the convention center. These slides are from yesterday. I was talking about my family history and the origins of the earner name. After which, Bill wanted to go very much to a, cer a, a certain Papa Haydn's. The one on this side of the river on the east side, that's a very fancy bakery that gives amazing desserts that, you know, I only have a few of these in a lifetime is good for me. That was Bill's chocolate cake. We both had a good time. There was a little bit of stress on needing to get him back to his train. Bill just comes down for the day. He's 94, going on 95 at least, right? And um, this is his getaway. This is how he has entertainment. He comes down on the train, goes back on the train. So the next day, I was... We're going to keep moving through to next day. Goodbye, Bill. We'll see you next time. Parked a little bit sharp on the corner there. So here I am waiting for the bus this morning. Um, I have a twofold mission. One is to retrieve a, lo a left artifact, a lost artifact, C60. This is a classic Masonic temple turned major music venue. Hawthorne Theater is famous around the world, I have to say. It's a small venue but a very elite one, and we get some major music comes through here. So this is the Oregon Convention Center when no convention is happening. So it's a huge kind of ghostly palace with giant swinging pendulum that keeps track of the time as the world turns. So I've got my camera with me. I'm definitely going to get some of these pictures. I really love photo ops like this, photo opportunities. So that's where the pendulum is suspended from. It's a really high tower and the pendulum just goes back and forth and it rotates because really the earth is rotating. It's really more staying still compared to to the earth. Interesting angles, hey? Interesting pictures. Where I'm on my way to is the admin office, because by this time I've talked with people and I know that C60 is there. Microscopy and microanalysis is just getting set up, which was kind of funny because I walked back through here with like what looks like a giant my molecule. It's kind of like this looks like part of the movie set for molecules on the loose. There it is. There's the admin office. I've just retrieved it. Thank you, staff, for getting that back to me. This, I don't understand this picture. This is anomalous. Maybe switching the camera off as it's being taken. Don't know. Sitting there on the surface under the pendulum. Getting the full effect there. I think it's on Mars. If it's not on Mars, the fourth planet, not the fourth planet. If that's not Mars, that was my intent in any case. Martian math, you see. So onwards... Uh, that's a booth, a nursing booth. I don't think I've seen one before. It's like, you can do this in public, but we have a private space for you to do it in public. And then if you want it, I'm sure it's just not mandatory. There we have, we're trying to accommodate all different cultures and practices, right? So we're really proud of our convention center. It's a great thing. And then I took the Max onward to the old customs house, which I sometimes confuse with the Pacific Northwest College of Arts, but that's a different building. They're both big and imposing. <clears throat> this guy was setting up a grand piano in the park, and the, the park blocks, so-called, the south park blocks and the north park blocks, these are the north park blocks. So here we are, WeWork is in there, and this is an interesting organization. And I was there to look it over. I'm thinking of curriculum of tomorrow, school of tomorrow. This was a major indication I was in the right place. We talked music, podcasts. It looked pretty promising, even if it's not me, somebody who's in my network. I could think of several people who could benefit from this. 
So I took the Max home by the same route with 360 this time. Green Line takes you from the Union Station area through the Lloyd Center. So there's the Union Station. That's where I left Bill yesterday. And today I'm down there on the Max, right? 75 Max from Hollywood straight to Union Station. There's a lot going on down there, and I'd like to work on some of these. Um, I'm glad that there was a veterans angle to today's meetup. I think what I see is asylum cities emerging from military bases. Like they're the same thing in many cases. It's already got a runway. It's already got storage, warehouses. Everything you need is there, so you've got your Asylum City kind of nucleus is what I'm saying. So in military schools, do we teach about electrical grids and all this Codester stuff, this Middle American, <clears throat> Middle American stuff that you'll get in my previous video? I recommend it. And, um, you know, going back through my... School of Tomorrow stuff on my YouTube channel and leave comments, like or not like, and so forth. We'll talk to you soon. Hi, Narelle.